So coming from many, many near-death experiences with my family, I learned to very pray. I learned to pray with a very sincere heart and ask for life. I said, all I asked the Creator and God was that we live and that we breathe. I said, that day in 1975 when they had that shootout, that's all I asked. And I said, the Creator heard my prayer and He gave me a dream. I said, from that dream I became a sun dancer. I understood, experienced it, what it is like to be a sun dancer. My first day of sun dancing, the very first day, I was really happy. I was just so happy. I'm doing something for my nation so my nation will live. Thank you, Tunkajila. Thank you, God. Thank you, Onchi Maka. Thank you, Chamaka. You give me a way, so thank you. I was really happy to dance. I was so happy to give back because Creator, He let my whole family live. And we're all together. My second day was really hard. It was really hot. My mom, she said, Arla, you know, when you sun dance, you can't just keep praying because pretty soon the body is going to get tired. It's going to want to give in to the flesh. It's going to keep your mind. So on the third day, I really knew that. It was like water, water. I want water, water. The body was just wanting water. And she told me that when my body is competing with my spiritual self to kick into and to sing the sacred songs because the songs are prayers too, so started singing. I always sing the sun dance songs when I sun dance. So that kept me going the second day, the third day. The third day was really hard day. And then my my in the end of the way you say it ko ki pa is whenever you gotta do a great hardship, one of your relatives is gonna come share your hardship. So I have my cousin, she's my sister cousin, her name was Viola Hikro. She's gonna come support me and us two are gonna dance. So my my mom she made Viola her sun dance stuff and we got ready. Both very young girls are just very happy. I was very happy that I have a cousin that feels, feels like me and wants to help me. So there's two of us that sun dance and all. Me, I, I always thought that I was a real strong and tough woman because all my life I rode horses. To be a horsewoman, you have to learn how to take a lot of pain because <laughs> a horse can buck you off, <laughs> slam you on the ground like nothing. So then I always think I'm tough because my dad and my brothers always say, oh, you ride horses all the time. You're a cowgirl. There ain't many cowgirls and cowgirls don't cry. Cowgirls get hurt. They just jump up and get right back on. So I always thought I was a cowgirl. And tell the goons we're cowboys. I don't want to be a cowgirl no more. I threw my cowboy boots away. I threw my cowgirl hat away. I decided that I was just going to wear moccasins and be that way. So that I really did do that. I know, never did wear cowboy boots because the goons were all cowboys. And I don't want to be one of them because those are the ones that was trying to kill us. So the third day, my cousin, we're really dancing and this is so hard. I kept my eyes closed because I was really getting into all the sun dancers. And there's a brief moment when nobody could break and it was just so hard. And then the thought was, oh, Tunkajila, Lakota Nation is so hard. All those men were falling down. It was really sad for me to see our sun dancers doing that. So I really closed my eyes and we were, we were faced towards the west. So I had my hands up, really praying. That sun dance is a very sacred sun dance. The first day there's 21 eagles that come, I always say, because we have the most sacred pipe there. Eagles will fly so low, 21 of them, so many of them, it's just not one or two. Therefore I know this is, this is very sacred. 
And those eagles, they come so low and they're screaming. So you know the difference between an eagle bone whistle and a real eagle. It's like I hear all those whistles going, really praying for my nation that they live. Close my eyes and hear way up in the sky, I heard the eagle. He came spiraling down, so I was really happy because he's coming to help us, the one bleak Lishka. So he is coming down. So I was looking and here in the sky, I seen a lady. She had her hands up in the air. She had real long hair. She was sitting. She had a peace pipe in her hand. And my friend, my cousin, Viola, she's laying on the ground. So it's really praying, can you help my sister, help my sister get up? So when that, I seen that woman in the sky, she was outside, tapped her. So she looked at me and we smiled and after that the whole world was good. We weren't tired, we weren't sad, we were just happy girls to be so dancing again because we seen something so beautiful in the sky. We no longer prayed that we, want, we no longer prayed for water. We were just happy because we had energy. We had strength. So I danced for four years and four days. And then I became very ill. And my uncle, he's a holy man and medicine man. The Canadian Indians, they always take him back to Canada and keep him for a month or two. And when I got ill, he was over there. So my mom, she said, I'll take you to my cousin. He's a medicine man and his name is Dawson Nohurst. We'll go have healing ceremony for you. Because in the Indian way, if they couldn't help me, I had to go to the hospital and I just didn't want to go to the hospital. So we went to Dawson's ceremony. In the ceremonies, the songs are saying, sung in a chronological order. You're gonna call the spirits in. So when the song that you call the spirit, the grandfather is in, you get ready because sometimes they'll come in a big boom or I don't know, it kind of gets a little bit scary. I was getting ready. And then somebody comes and grabs me. And my cousin's sitting right there, so I pushed him. And I said, shh, behave yourself. And here they come and they grab me and they put me up in the air. And they put me in the four directions real hard. So then I know it's a spirit. So it's like. So then I said, to God should forgive me for what I have done and forgive me for what I have not done. But just forgive me. I'm really sorry. Can you put me down now? So they put me down. And he grabs my hand, makes me feel his chest, and he has Sundance scars. And I thought, wow. It makes me feel his face. And he had one braided hair. And then this other side's all loose. So in my hand, I got some hair. All my life, I was able to see things, hear things, and know things through dreams. Can be sitting here, something I could see, nobody else can see. So now I showed my mom. I said, Mom, I really have spirit hair. So then they sang another song and they told my mom and me that the grandfather always sees me at ceremonies, knows my prayer, knows my heart, likes me, is going to walk with me. That's why he gave me these hair and I'm going to have a real hard walk. That's why he's here to help me. I have a spirit that's here that's going to help me. So he walks with me. His name is Chanupa Gluhamani, walks with pipe. 